Okay. When you before the midterms or final, you all may start you study with your dictionary, the last few pages of your smart book, of your textbook. smart book the last few pages, mostly part five. Okay. So you part five instead of leave it blank. We are home. You stand a chance to score. Okay, for part five. Let's say Zena is that during on the spot, your midterm or finals, you won't spell. You can go to the front. Don't panic, don't nervous. You can go to the front. Okay, okay, yeah. Is that clear? So as you can see, how do you spell? It is medicine that you swallow. What is it? How do you spell? Wow, you are really fast. That's it. And it's a special chair with use used by people who cannot walk. Okay, you, okay, you. How do you spell? Yeah, good job. Um, just right beside of the room here. It is used to listen to somebody's heart and breathing. What do you call? You all said it before for existing students. Do you remember? Yeah, no? <laughs> Yeah, it's like the do doctor using this to listen to your heartbeat, yeah, listen to your lungs. How do you spell? F -E -E. Are you sure? S T E K. Wait, let me ask someone. Mm. Okay, wait, let me ask someone. Uh, Elise, how do you spell? <laughs> hey, you are from online class, right? I've never seen you all before because I showed you, you all show me your forehead during online class, just your forehead <laughs> during online class. Most of you show me your forehead. That's all. What is Stethoscope. Yeah. It's okay, good try. And it's a piece of material that can be stuck to be to the skin to protect a small wound or cut. Probably A to J. Yeah, you got a paper cut on your finger and it's bleeding, you have to put on. Yes, plaster. Well done. Okay. Oh. J, do you have Okay. And it is an okay. Wait, let me ask someone. Let me ask someone. Mm. Alexa, how do you spell? What do you think? It is an instrument used for measuring the temperature of, of a person's body. How do you know about fever? In terms of fat cloud, Alexa, how do you spell? No. Okay. Ah. Thermometer. Okay, it's okay. Good try. That's how I spell it. Thermometer. Okay. Okay, next, let me ask Andrew. It is a material that you used to write and draw on it. Yes, it's like A4 paper, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Paper, yes, correct. And it is a brush that's used for painting. How do you spell? That's okay. it. You can, I'm pretty sure you all can score well during your midterms or finals exam. Like it's the same, it's a, it's a similar. Yes. Yes, correct. Okay. Wow, you are really fast. May I know your name? I've never seen you before. You are standard four. Standard four, standard five? Standard four. I've never seen you before. It's used for removing pencil marks. 
from paper, what do you have to use? Eraser. So it is so called eraser or rubber. rubber. It's the same. Yes. It is a strong border usually made from wood that holds a picture. Yes. Wow, you guys are really good. You guys, you guys are really smart. Okay. And the last one, it is used by artists to make colors of web painting. How do you spell it? So like eyeshadow. No, it's not eyeshadow. <laughs> okay. So how do you spell palette? P L that with double L. P A L L E T E. Okay. Wow, you guys are really smart. Good job. Okay, so for now, I'm going to talk about part six and seven, which you all are not familiar with this part. Yeah, it's like nowadays, most of the students make the same mistakes, like common sense. Make sure every sentence ends with a face, yeah, which means it ends with a full stop, okay? Which I always say ends with a full stop, so that you remember. Why, why do I say ends with a face, So that you rem remember, ends with a full stop. When asking a question, there's always a question mark behind. Something like, so you may start your email with how are you with a question mark because you're asking a question, okay? And make sure every sentence ends with a basic, so with a full stop, so that you guys remember. That's why I always say basic, basic, okay? Yeah, doesn't mean the real Google. <laughs> Take out from your nose, okay? <clears throat> okay, when it comes to part six and seven, what do you have to do? You have to analyze the topic first based on the given instructions so that you know what you have to write for the email, okay? Okay, hey, what does it mean? It's like based on the given topic, okay, I'll show you a topic. It's okay. As you can see, you have just read you have just read a book on your dream dream job as a geologist. So you have to write an email to your friend. So based on the given topic, you know what you have to write for your email. Do you know what you have to write for your email? And make sure your content must be related to your related to the topic. Yeah. Don't be like, oh, the, the topic ask, asking you to write, you have, read, you have recently read a book on your dream job as a geologist and you're writing teacher, doctor, doctor career or teacher career. It's not related, it's out of the topic. So make sure everything based on the given information, based on the given topic, you have to analyze the topic first, okay? So what do you have to write for this email? Let's say for this topic, what do you have to write for this email? Say why is your why is it your dream job? Why you are into this job? Why is someone is the one? This 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 yeah. You just explain. No, you have to explain why. Okay. An interesting job and get to study animals as you are into petting animals. Just like you like animals. Zoologist is an animal scientist. And veterinarian is different. Veterinarian is an eye doctor. So yeah. And help improve their habitats. And I love as you love animals now. Yeah. They love taking care of animals. So these are all the explanation. So make sure it's related to the given the to the given topic. Okay. And share the things you hope to do. What do you hope to do with animals? You want to kill them, murder them? Yeah, taking as you are into this job, you are into taking care of animals. You are lovely, you are kind, you are helpful. Okay. Oh yeah, I have a question. Let me ask someone. You guys raise up your hand now. Let's see who's the fastest. Wait, lower down your hand first. Calm down. <laughs> okay. What's the difference between part six and part seven email? What's the difference? Okay, one. Lower down your hand. <laughs> what is the difference between parts? Okay, I repeat the question. What is the difference between part six and seven email? One. Two, three. Oh, amen. So what's the difference? You could 
be two emails, okay? Okay, it's okay, yeah, good try. I'm, I'm asking what's the difference between part six and part seven. Let's say it could be two emails during your midterms or finals. Doesn't mean one email and one message. Yeah. Okay, lower down your head first. I think for my existing students, I always say that what's the difference? Yeah, Handu, I think you should know that. La Ching. <laughs> okay. Okay. Lower down your head now. One, two, three. Andrew, you don't know. Okay, Handu. Yeah, the button. Yeah. Yes, correct. Part, okay, so the difference between part six and seven. What I want you to do part six or part seven, the firm yes, is about. Part six, as you can see, right within 30 to 50 words. Okay. And for part seven, you have to write within 60 to 80 words. So that's the difference. So I would recommend you all write for part seven emails. In part seven, I would recommend you all write in one to three paragraphs. Eat down Santuan for part seven. In when you see a picture time. So this is the difference. Okay, so that's the difference. That is now fun Okay, we'll repeat in Chinese version. Fun is part six picture Part seven Biao Chang. So I would recommend you man, part seven yes, san one in three paragraphs. Part six see one hal. Okay. Yeah. This is okay, the guideline. This is the guideline for like for you all. How do you write an email? It's like I can't imagine it's like nowadays, it's like for some of the students still leave it blank for part five, six, and seven when the guideline has been given to you all. Do study with this before your midterm exam. Yeah. How do you write the email? Now, since I was going by way, someone has a hand, two or one, a cone, cone, each of them don't mean anything. That's which which means you must give up. You must just放弃了诶。Okay, 自己直接放弃了诶。不要这样子 give up 啊。Do not give up. Don't leave it blank. Give it a try. Normally, 怎么样开始 ？Like starting of your email. How do you start with your email? 怎么样开始写你的 email？ And it must all oh, wait. One more question. For email, I'm asking email is it on your left hand side or right hand side? Right. right. <laughs> I want I want to say you have to raise up your hand. Okay, that is okay. Yes. For emails, it must be on your left hand side, as you can see. Message is on your right. Let's say during your midterm. Oh my god, also I say you so depends on okay. Let's say you are left-handed, so it's in the same direction. Uh, I think most of you are right handed. Right handed, the opposite way, fan fang xiang. Right handed, the just fan fang xiang. Jiang zi lai ji de. Jiang zi ji. Okay. So emails do si zuo bian. Message si zai yu bian. Kan ma wei xie right, left. Uh, okay. Uh? Do for let's say topic get our mingzi, you can one mingzi. Let's say Hajan, you have to share your experience to James. Ayo. Let's say you have to share your experience to James. Can you change the name to you? What kind of name is this? James. Can I change to a TBD toilet? Oh, yeah. I should just see what yeah. Can you change? I'm just kidding. I just leave out some examples. I just leave out some examples. <laughs> Like most of the students, students asking me the same question, uh, English or Spanish. Uh. Okay. Yeah. So can you change the name as the name is provided? Yeah, don't. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking around, okay? Please do not write skibidi toilet. What? Dear skibidi toilet. Please don't do that, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I just list out some examples, okay? 名字给了不可以换名字,你们换名字就错了,就out of the topic, uh, 离题了, uh. I'm talking about this part. I'm talking about this part. Uh. <laughs> Based on the given instruction. So, how do you greet your friend? As long as you greet your friend in a polite way, do not write, hey bro, what's up, long time, no see, uh, in a formal way. 
Make sure you all greet your friend in a formal way. Do not write, hey, yo, bro, what's up? Long time no see, yeah, okay? Please don't do that. As long as you greet your friend in a polite and formal way. Hello, how are you? How have you been? I hope you are fine. And don't be like, I hope you are sad. I hope you are emotional, okay? In a positive way. In a positive way, yeah? I hope you are fine. Okay. What does it mean? I hope you are in the pain of health and I hope you are as sweet as a feeder. These two are idioms. Not idioms, okay? Idioms. Idioms. Um, idioms. Yeah. Not idiot, okay? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't say that. I hope you are in... <laughs> yeah. So... These two are idioms. Idioms just a turn you. Like, you may be to thank you. Okay? I hope you are as fit as a feeder. I hope you are in the pain. I hope you are in the pain of health. I hope you are on cloud nine. All these are acceptable on cloud nine, which means I hope you are happy. Okay? And you may start You may start writing your email based on the given topic. Chao hui na ge subject. Chao hui na ge thimu. What are you going to write for this email? Copy the subject. I would like to tell you about, and I'm writing this to tell you about, yeah, what's the subject based on a given subject? Yeah? And all these are the conjunctions. Not just by saying, besides that, besides, besides that, after that, okay? It's like so boring, okay? I try to repeat the conjunctions. I like to use the conjunctions. You separate into one to two and three paragraph by using the correct conjunction, Lian Si. Besides, besides that, uh, after that, then I'm boring. Uh, you can use the other one, like furthermore, apart from that, last but not least, the last part is going to come to the end. And this, last but not least, is last week. Yeah. For the first part, you can start with first and foremost. First of all, firstly, Instead of using besides, besides that, then, after that, yeah, okay? It's so boring. It's like it's repeated. You are repeating the same thing. And when it comes to the end, ending, dear way, will you hope, okay, let's say you are writing a love letter to your crush. Will you hope your crush will reply your love letter? You, at least you get a response, right? So when it comes to the end, you hope your friend will reply your email or message, right? So not just by saying bye or goodbye, it's too short. Okay. Do write to me soon. So you may end end with ending when it comes to the end. Ending, you may end with all these. All these are the examples. Do write to me soon. I hope to hear from you soon. Looking forward to catch up with you soon or see you soon. Instead of bye, goodbye, it's too short. Okay. Even you must get that love letter to your crush. You may not get your crush reply to the message. Crush, you men the iron, you men the iron. Or hasn't you men your crush? Hey, I thought most of you got boyfriend, girlfriend. Hey, you men must see a love lap, love letter. Ah, don't need that crush. Me reply, you not so hard. Wow, heartbroken. No, you see, let's see. Let's say you are. Yeah, that's why I'm talking about. Let's say you are writing a love letter to your crush. You hope your crush will reply your letter, right? So same goes as this. This is also the same. You don't reply to your friends. Do write to me soon. I hope to hear from you soon, okay? Because I see you every time just bye, goodbye, full stop. That's all. It's too short, <laughs> okay? Yeah, so for email, it is on your left-hand side. Message, it is on your right-hand side. Fan fan xiang, uh, in the opposite way, yeah? Uh. It's not in the same direction. <coughs> okay. So, I'm done with part 5, 6, and 7. So, for now, what about part 1 to part 4? What do you have to do for part 1 and part 4? Actually, that's a, yeah, like, Chen, Chen, Tia, objective, yeah. Yeah, Chen, Chen, Tia, objective, Okay, and used to be A, B, C, D. For now, it's just A, B, C. It's like higher possibility, 33.333%. Get the answer correctly. Now, 
you higher chance that to change you A B C D the like for standard say it used to be A B C D but for now it's just A B C. You know that possibility come go like A B C. Three 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 percent ba da dui yi qi. You have to answer correctly. 之前呢还要 twenty five percent twenty five percent. 所以啊 English 没有 score A plus 哪里可能不可能嘛？一定可以拿 A plus 啊 easy easy. Okay. And actually there's a shortcut to do it for part one. Part three and part four. Do you get shortcut? Give you. 就是找答案。你们最喜欢的吗？抄答案的。你们不喜欢抄答案？啊，你们不喜欢抄答案的、啊、哦。<笑> okay. Okay. 你们你们讲一个 shortcut. Cut. A 抄答案罢了。That's a shortcut to do it. Part one, part three, and part four. What do you have to do? I would recommend you all do read the questions first. Do read not ten but <laughs> yeah okay and um, what a terrible mindset ah uh, I heard my students told me that ah uh, what san chang ah uh, chuan jun san chang ah uh, san chang yi duan quan ah uh, this is so called what a terrible mindset okay you are taking your own risk. This is not necessary. Ah, this is you are it's like you you are taking your own risk. 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 不要什么 like 三叉一短选，我选最什么 ？I I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's like what a terrible mindset. It's a bad example. Okay, please don't do that. Okay. Do I would recommend you all do read the questions first. Do read the questions first. It's like a shortcut. Do 那个问题先 ，so that you can find out the answer based on the given story. Okay, as you can see, what will Leslie be sleeping in during the trip? Sleep. So the question asking where will Leslie be sleeping in? He is in where? Sleep. He will. He will. You go find the keywords. Do look for the keywords. Will do. Look for the keywords. Yeah. So you should bring along a sleeping bag, a torchlight, and some mosquito repellent. So where will Leslie be sleeping in? The answer is just right here. Yes, correct. The answer is just right here. That's why. Chao da an. Chao da an. Yeah. Okay. When the da an. When the answer is just right here. Chao da an. So the answer is A, okay? <coughs> okay, one minute, let me drink some water. <laughs> mm -hmm. So same goes for this question. I'm on cloud nine. Oh, what does it mean on cloud nine? Yeah, happy. Yes, kai sing. Correct, Zhixin. Kai sing. Ah, so choose the most suitable answer. I'm on cloud nine today. My parents threw me the best birthday party. Threw me doesn't mean throw my dust. Uh, the throw rubbish into a dustbin. Throw a birthday party, which means have a birthday party for you. 代表举办生日会，不是丢生日会啊。Throw 不一定是丢垃圾啊。Throw 是 like 举办也是可以的。So choose the correct statement based on the given text as you can see. Alice is happy about her birthday party. Is that correct? Is that correct on cloud nine? <coughs> Alice's parents celebrated her graduation. No, I thought it's her birthday party. So the answer is A, obviously. That's why I was saying Chao Da An. Chao Da An. Yeah. And make sure you all do one thing, two hand one thing during your midterm. Why do you have to do that? Do one thing, two hand one thing, so that you get to double check on the spot, get the answer correctly, and double check on the spot. Okay. One thing, two hand one thing. Why? 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 So I T two H T. So you get you stand a chance to double check on the spot. So and color the correct answer. Color the answer correctly. <coughs> okay. Yeah. I think you all can do it by your own. It's like chao da an chao da an yeah. I think you all can answer the following questions by your own. Lydia is an. She has tried cutting foam in a hot air balloon and swam with the dolphins. So what do you think? She's into outdoor activities. She likes outdoor activities. So, Lydia is an active person. She likes 
很喜欢 outdoor with into outdoor activities。Have you heard about bungee jump before? Bungee jump or skydiving? Skydiving. Bungee jump is like 跳楼啊 ，commit suicide. Okay. Like out, all these are outdoor activities, like active. Bungee jump, like 那个 feeling 好像 like 跳楼啊 ，commit suicide. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think you all can answer the following questions. You all can do it by your own for the following questions. Okay, it's super easy. You can tell the answer. Yeah. I think I will just move, move on. Okay, I think I will move on to part three and part four. This one. Yeah. Comprehension. Part three and part four are comprehension. What does it mean? Comprehension. What does it mean? Comprehension. Ah, no one knows. <laughs> What does it mean comprehension? One, two, three. What does it mean comprehension? Melissa, what does it mean comprehension? <laughs> I think I told you yesterday. <laughs> comprehension. What does it mean comprehension? Okay, call, yes, comprehension. Just a tell the answer. Okay, why is my tell the answer? Do one thing. I'm just saying. You know, there's a shortcut to do it. Do read the questions first. Proceed to the questions. In total, there are five questions for each of the comprehension. Okay, so that's it. Do read the questions, and you can find out the answer based on the given story. Yeah, this is the shortcut to do it. Okay, I think you all can do it by your own for the following questions. Like super duper easy, easy peasy, and the lemon squeezy. Okay, yeah, and that's all. That's all for me. That's all for me. I think for now, yeah, that's all for me. And I hope to see you all in my class. Thank <laughs> you.